Okay, so let me share the screen. Right, okay. So forget about whatever I have added files and file groups. This is how we are going to add it, guys. Firstly, we are creating a database. So what details you will give? You will give the database name. Automatically, you will get this data file and you will get this log file with the database name only. Right, so you can identify which one is data file, which one is log file by, by using this file type column. Primary file group, you know, by default we'll have primary. See here for log file, there is no file group concept. You can see not applicable. Even if you go for drop down, you don't see any file groups or for, for log file, you don't see any file group concept guys. Okay, only for data files, we have file group concept. Initially, you will get each file. See, when you create one notepad, that notepad file will have a size, right? Any file you will creating, you are creating means you will have one size, small or big, at least you will have one size, right? We are creating two files. One is data file, one is log file. So each file will have its own size. By default, 8 MB, you will get it, guys. This, this data file will be 8 MB. This log file will be 8 MB. No, 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 no. I want to give more size. Chalo, you can change it. I can give it 1024 MB, which is 1 GB. Okay, I can give it 1024 MB, which is 1 GB, guys. Initially, this is 1 GB. Later, you are inserting the data inside these tables, sorry, files. This 1024 MB consumed, 100 MB consumed, 200 MB, 500 MB, totally 1024 MB consumed, guys. If the data file is full, can you insert the data again inside this file? No. We cannot insert. No. What we have to do, we have to increase the size. In my organization, I am managing 50,000 databases, guys. In my organization, I am managing 50,000 databases. Is it possible to extend the size of each file? 50,000 databases means 15 to 2, 1 lakh files. Is it possible to extend the each file size every time? No. no. Very difficult, right? It's not at all possible. Who will check? Who will verify what is the free space? Okay, again, I can add the size to this file. That's very difficult, right? That's why we have this option auto growth. Once this 1024 MB is full, then you have to, it will be enabled guys. Auto growth by default, it will be enabled. By default, it will be enabled. If you disable it, you have to, you can see none here. Auto growth none means auto growth is disabled. If auto growth is disabled, the file won't grow automatically the file won't grow automatically. Once the file is full, it will throw the error. In case if you're trying to insert the data, it will throw the error, data file is full. That's not, that not should be a case, right? So we cannot again add the space and all to the data file. So by default in the organization, auto growth will be enabled guys. Auto growth means automatically it will grow. Once the file is full, it will grow automatically. How it will grow in percentage or in megabytes? In percentage, you give in percentage and 10 percentage you give. Now tell me guys, what is the new file size? Once my 1024 MB is completely full, what is the new file size? Sixty-four MB. 1 MB. One MB. How much extra I'll get once this 1024 plus 1 MB. 10 MB, sorry. I'll, I'll ask very basic, very basic mathematics, guys. 10% is of 1024, how much? 10.1024.4 MB. Very good. 10 KB, sir. 10 sorry. KB? 100. Oh, 100. Sorry. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100
I last one is one for basic maths. I, I hope you know. One not, one not one not one one what is one percentage of thousand rupees? One rupee. One. One rupee. Ten rupees, sir. Ten rupees, sir. Ten rupees. One or ten. Ten. Ten rupees. What is one percentage of one lakh, guys? Hundred. Hundred. One thousand. Thousand, thousand, sir. Thousand, 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 sir. Thousand, thousand, sir. Very good, guys. Okay, very good, very good, very good. See, these are very basic mathematics. Okay, no need to break your heads and all. Simply ten percentage means you just give point. Okay, one point here after four the units. This is units, right? Units, tens, hundreds, and thousands, right? So here, if it is ten percent means notepad. Let me go to the notepad. One zero two four. Ten percentage, right? Means you have to give one point here. Okay, okay, guys. Ten percent means you have to give one point here. If it is hundred percentage, ten point two Ten point two Very good. Very good. I'm excellent, guys. You are super, super, super. Hundred percentage of one zero two four is ten point two four. How come? Ten percentage is uh, one not two. No okay. percentage, sir. No <laughs> point. Ten no percentage point. is itself one not two MB. Hundred percentage yeah. is one not ten MB. Wow, it's nice. This is how hacking the brains. Okay. Got the point, guys. So you cannot calculate like that. Hundred percentage means 100 double. Hundred percent means plus thousand double double. Okay. Right. So twenty percentage means. Don't tell, okay? Zero four point eight. Into two. Zero four point eight. That's it. Into two. Into two. Where is this? Into Not into four. Okay. Thirty percentage into three. Forty percentage. I'm sorry. Three. Forty percentage into four. Fifty percentage into five. That's it, guys. Or else, fifty percentage. Can you can you straight away tell me what is the fifty percentage value of this? Five twelve, sir. Five twelve. That's it. You have to like off off five. of your thousand twenty four is five twelve MB. Okay, right. So like this. So usually, how much value will keep it? So it depends upon the organization to organization. Some people will give ten percentage. Some people will give twenty percentage. That means if thousand twenty four MB is completely full, automatically twenty percentage of thousand twenty four MB, which is a two not four MB, one not two plus one not two. Two not four MB will be added. The new file size will be twelve hundred MB. Agree? Twelve hundred MB, right? Again, the twelve hundred MB is completely full. Twenty percentage of twelve hundred MB will be added again automatically. What is twenty percentage of twelve hundred MB? Twelve hundred means one twenty, one twenty, two forty MB extra will be added. Okay, so twelve hundred plus two forty fourteen. Sir, do we need to remember? All? No, need to remember all these calculations. Just to tell you, okay, nothing to worry. So usually in the organization we will have ten percentage or twenty percentage or fifty percentage will be there. Or else sometimes you can see in megabytes thousand twenty four. Now tell me, guys, what is the new file size? If my thousand twenty four MB is full completely, it will grow automatically. What will be my new file size? If I give like this, two zero two zero four eight. It will add thousand twenty four to this. Once this thousand twenty four is completely full, it will add one GB to this. Total is two GB. Now that two GB is completely full, what is the next file size? Four GB. Four GB. Very good, very good, very good. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Four GB, sir. Who is that? Four GB. Four GB. No, again it will add one zero two four three GB. It's again, it will like add one zero two four only. Every time it will add one zero two four only. Yeah, yeah. One zero two four only. Guys, I don't want to confuse you. These are very basic mathematics. Okay, so nothing to break your heads and all. Simple, simple things. Okay, 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 simple things. The new file size will be two GB, three GB, four GB, five GB. Keep on adding, keep on adding, like that till what point it can grow, guys? Can you tell me? Unlimited. Unlimited. Till disk size. Very good. Okay. Till the disk size, guys. Till the disk size. Okay. So in which drive my file is creating C drive? In the C drive, how much free space is there? 
How much? One twenty six. One twenty. Free space. Free space. Ninety point seven. Ninety point seven. It can grow up to ninety GB, guys. Clear. Once it used complete ninety GB, this this disk will full. You the file cannot grow. When it can grow, guys? When it can grow automatically? There is a free space. Then only it can grow. If there is no free space, how it can grow automatically? Right. It is not getting the storage from the cloud, right? It is not getting the storage from other sources. It's simply getting the storage from the C drive. Your file is storing in the C drive. You can see here if you C drive free space is completely full, then the file can't grow. What is the solution, guys? You have to extend the C drive. We increase the size. Very good. We have to extend the disk increase size. Increase the space. Very good. We have to extend the disk size. You see, C drive now it is one twenty six, right? You can add hundred GB to this C drive. Now the disk will be two twenty six. Now again the file can grow extra hundred GB. Is it clear, guys? It should be very clear. Why? Because while the data files and log files will full in the organization, very common. It's very common. It's very regular activity. We have to manage the things. Is it clear, everyone? Auto growth. What is the use of the auto growth? Sir. Is it clear? Sir. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Sir, no question, sir. Yes, yes, please. जी You cannot host the ten TB file in a single drive, or you cannot yes, break the files. Now your MDF file will be stored inside the C drive. You will create extra MDF file that will be hosted in another drive. Yes, sir. Agree? Valid? Yes, sir. Second thing is second thing is data management. If you keep on loading two terabytes of file, or if the file size is two TB. Managing is different, difficult. Okay, it's difficult to manage. Processing and all will be slow, guys. Okay, so that's why we'll we'll store in pieces, one piece, two piece, three piece, one file, two file, three file, four file. Managing to maintain the data. Okay, so without having any issues, if you keep on loading the data in the single file, it might give some performance issues, some maintenance related challenges. You will get it. If I can store two TB in one file, two TB in one more file, one TB in one file like that, if you store pieces by pieces, it will be easy to maintain. That is another advantage. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, good, sir. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, I mean, I mean, this is na, I mean, extra file group create check border. Correct. Correct. Yes, yes. This is the same reason. Yes. Hello. Yes, yes, please. Uh, in organization also those uh, uh, primary means uh, mdf and ldm both are uh, in one drive or for ldf log file they are using for another drive no yes in the organization we don't keep it in all the files in single drive data file will keep it in one drive log file will keep it in another drive depends upon the organization to organization guys it doesn't need that people has to follow the same okay people some people what they will do in the non prod server they will keep all the stuff in the single drive in the prod server they will follow the process in the prod server they will they will they will maintain separate drive for data files they will maintain separate drive for log files separate drive for temp db files separate drive for backup files like this it will be okay. and one 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 question what is the shrink of databases is shrink of database size also tell you. Uh, no we cannot sync mdf file actually there is a there is a reason i'll tell you what is sync if if you need if you cannot wait okay what you can do go to our channel okay so here just type sync guys in the search in the sync just type sync okay there we can see sync sql server log files in real time you can watch this video okay so everything we have discussed how to sync what will happen if you sync the log file why we can't sync the data files and all we explained in this video okay so you can just go through this video but i'll tell you how to sync the log file how to sync the data file what what impact is there if you sync the data file and all okay okay yes yes any questions guys sir uh, what could be the maximum percentage maximum size in percentage or mb sir 
maximum size means in percentage or mp means oh, i did not get long term maximum file size of data file you are asking no 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 sir auto growth option is there maximum oh. size mm -hmm. so, uh, we have two options uh, we can give a percentage or in mbs yes size. correct correct so how, how much can you give at a time like in percentage or in mbs no limit your wish you can give okay. 100 mb also 100 percentage also then once to 121024 is completely full it will again assign 1024 next file size is 242048 once this is 2048 is full the next file size will be how much guys 1024 why 1024 so, no huh? no 1024 percentage times and 100 percentage guys simply Uh, okay, one zero two four for three times. How much? Three zero. You will get three zero seven two MB. Agree? So, guys, two GB, hundred percent auto growth. Tell me, guys, forget about one zero two four. Two GB. The file size is two GB, hundred percent auto growth. What will the next file size? Four GB. You, you know right uh, karodpati count banega karodpati. Four GB is the file size, hundred percentage is auto growth. What is the next file size? 8 GB, 16 GB, 32 GB, 64 GB, 128, 256, 512, 1024. 1024. 1024. guys. Okay, double. It will be doubled. I hope it was not confused. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, data file. You can ask, sir. I have enough free space. I have very big drives and all. Now tell me, sir, what is the max data file size? guys data files there is no limit how much you have free space how much you are going to provide the space 2 tb 3 tb 10 tb 20 tb it can grow for log file the max size is 2 tb it cannot grow more than 2 tb guys log file size cannot grow more than 2 tb log file size cannot grow more than 2 tb okay Data file depends upon the storage. It can grow, no issues. Data But file, uh, sir, MDF file is sixteen TB, na? Yeah, you can have sixteen TB file also. Okay. MD, okay, MDF file max size you are saying? Yes. Sir. Yes. Maximum size is. Sorry, your voice is breaking. Uh, as a MDF file size maximum is sixteen TB. Yes, MDF file size maximum sixteen TB. I am saying it can grow until sixteen TB. How much size you want? It can grow until sixteen TB. But log file size is two TB max, two TB only. Guys, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, max size for data file is up to sixteen TB. Max size for your log file is two TB only. Okay, your data file can grow up to sixteen TB. Sixteen TB can be a single drive, or sixteen TB can be multiple drives. Okay, in a single drive, so some some what we can say we have different different storage uh, disks, guys. Okay, um, partitions. Okay, uh, what is that partitions? LUN partition and MBR partition. As per the these partitions for MBR that is standard partition, the max disk size is two TB only. Disk size you have to consider the disk size also. Okay, uh, but some drives you can create more than two TB drives, like ten TB, fifteen, twenty TB drives also you can get. I am saying drive size, but the max data file that can be occupied is only sixteen TB. Okay, the max log file size is two TB, guys. Forget about it if you are still confusing. Is it clear up to up to this point? Is it clear, guys? Any issues? Any doubt? Depends. Going to hello. Yes, yes, please. So depends on requirement. We are going to provide MDF file, let's say. Yes, correct. Okay, depends upon the requirement, guys. Only one MDF file will be there. Once this MDF file is full, you have to add NDF file. You can add multiple NDF files, but only one MDF file will be there per database. the difference between data file and log file i'll tell you sir i'll tell you. simply the simple answer is in the data file you can store the data permanently in the log file the data will be stored temporary purpose 
okay for, for every database file uh, 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 another log file will be created I, we don't recommend creating multiple log files it will create performance issues okay so we'll recommend only one log file for database but yes you can create another log file also each database we can create uh, a single log file yes each database by default you will get with a single data uh, single log file if you want you can still create extra log file also so creating log file is simple okay you will give this insta log insta underscore log here you will try it you here you will change data to log file guys that's it you can give it okay yeah let me remove it. guys any confusion any doubts but creating database is just a, a single one minute work guys but I, we have to learn all these options is it clear logical name file type file group initial size auto growth path i want to change the path i don't i don't want to store in the c drive chalo click on this browse button and in which drive you want to store it choose that drive and you can save in that particular drive guys okay so this is how we are going to store the files in the respective drives and all is it clear database sir, owner... i have one, one question sir. yes yes please sir please, can please. you can you add one same file into um, two drives it's not possible sir why don't we add we can add, we can add it no issue see here same file data file and log file in the c drive only so you can add same two data files in the same c drive or same drive you can add two log files in the same drive no issues like that you can add it there is no challenges like that okay oh, okay sir we, we can add like this but uh, same file can be two drives how to how how it is possible ankam can be here in the uh, hyderabad and the bangalore is it possible no sir logically it's not possible right physically the file will present in only one drive agree uh, because uh, huge data in some database not also. because of huge data physical means you will exist okay. at only one place right agree physically yes, at a time you can exist at only one place either at hyderabad or bangalore right you cannot exist physically at two places not like hyder hello brother yes sir okay got the point hankam clear guys guys any issue any doubts let me know please i don't want to confuse you but i just try to okay explain each and every point it might give you some confusion forget about initial sizes and all you have to know just auto growth option by default will give auto growth option guys okay and for log file also you can see auto growth option will be there right and by default you can see this auto growth option is it clear any issues any doubts please if it is clear i'll click okay if not i'll i'll wait for your inputs hello yes yes please sir no, table will stored in data pages okay sir yes correct next sir indexes uh, will consider a leaf sir forget about indexes sir at this moment forget about indexes okay don't deviate the topic we'll we have a separate session on the okay indexes there i'll explain okay okay sir. Yeah. Now you can understand what is index and all, but lot of non-technical people are there. They cannot understand. They might uh, okay feel pressure on their brains. So that's why I don't touch now. It depends upon the topic. We'll discuss those things. Yes. Okay. Please. Sir, any questions? We, any doubts? Sir, we we have one or default means uh, DBO. I'll I'll explain it. Okay, I'll sir. explain it. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Okay. okay. So guys, owner is very important for every object. Guys. in the sql server everything will called as object only database is also an object table is also an object file is also an object file group is also an object guys uh, no one asked sir how many file groups i can create per database 32676 yes 32767 you said 32676 okay 32767 guys remember this magic number 32767 okay we can create 32767 databases in the sql server we can create yes. 32767 files per database we can create yes, 32767 file groups per database we can create 32767 logins we can create 32767 users okay 
so this number is important guys we can create 32767 databases max sql server supports maximum of 32767 databases and 32767 file groups you can create 32767 files you can create guys okay guys is it clear sir, uh, sir, one, one minute one minute one minute one minute, database, one minute, one minute okay. please it's not like uh, between uh, two three persons okay versus me so guys please please let me know madhavi lata sachita subani vamshi ravindra everyone is important for me guys rama ragu roja is it clear having any confusion yes sir please guys please 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 open your mouth it's very important is it clear creating the database or any confusion or do i want do, let let me know if you if you want me to explain one more time i'll explain happily no issues for me right as of now we have finished logical name file type file group yes uh, auto growth auto growth path, path. okay oh no last file name is there right yes yes auto, that will be populated automatically nothing to worry about this file name these are physical file names instagram.mdf instagram underscore log dot ldf let me show you this path go to this path control a control c windows r control v you can see whether the files are there or not you don't see the files you can only see system database files once i click ok you will get two files here instagram.mdf instagram underscore log dot ldf okay agree fine database owner by default the database owners would be sa if you don't give sa sa means a system admin if you don't give sa who is creating the database he will become the owner of the database who is creating guys can you tell me who is creating admin i mentioned admin admin sir i mentioned window user okay so if you see here in the instance name you can see three parts one is server name bill number login what is the login connected to the sql server with which login you connected to the server so by ticket plus and mook yes okay so if you are creating in this session if i am creating any database the owner will be shanmuk if you connected with your name if you connected with roja the owner will be roja if you connected with sachita the owner will be sachita if you connected with dhanunjay name the owner will be dhanunjay if you don't change the name of the owner of the database if you don't change the owner of the database if it is default okay the, who is creating the database by default the owner will be his name okay agree his name means might be you are connected with a different name here and your original name is different the name which you can see here can be the owner of the database okay guys let me click okay with that note we have completed creating the database that's it guys okay so this is how we can create the database using gui method using gui method once the database is created go to the physical location and see here instagram is created with 1 gb instagram underscore log is created with one more gb the files will be created and you can see in the in the ssms like this if you expand the database you can see lot of options again by default you will get all these options i haven't created but still i got all these options right so this is how you can create the database simple way see i'll uh, this time i don't want to confuse you i'll create a phone pay database phone pay enter that's it guys sir you said 30 minutes creating the database what sir you just created in 30 seconds okay so if you see in the location now you can see there are two files phone pay phone pay underscore log and if you want to see the owner of this database i want to see i will show you the owner of the database there is a query guys you can run this query to check the owner of all the database sp help db very good okay sp underscore help db help db database name okay so it will tell you all the database names okay including your system database user databases and all if users are creating the database those databases are called user databases if it comes along with the sql server those are called system databases guys so these these four are system databases and these two are user databases instagram and phone pay right so the owner of instagram i just set it to sa you can see sa but for phone pay i did not change the owner see here the same login name you can see as a owner guys is it clear now we have one more option also okay let me 
create a database with query let me open a query window control n create, create database, database okay database name my database name is mantra not mantra mantra okay so if i execute still also you can create the database but i don't see the database guys here Where is my? It was completed refresh. successfully. No, refresh it. Very refresh good. Refresh. Very yeah. good. Whatever you are doing, you have to refresh it, guys. See here, yeah. Mantra. And if you go to the physical location, I did not give any path. Okay, yeah. I did not give any file size. Still, you can see. But for Instagram, I gave one GB as a file size. You can see here file size one GB. But for other database, the default file size is eight MB, guys. That's why when I create phone pay, I got data file with eight MB. log file with 8 mb when i create mantra i got data file with 8 mb log file with 8 mb if you don't give any values it will take default values clear guys creating the database using command uh, instance when you install instance that that time we mentioned no? which one which one uh, default Path, default huh? size default size no 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 we don't set anywhere Uh, i'll tell you uh, while discussing a uh, uh, system databases you will you will came to know why we will get 8 mb as a default size okay okay yeah how to change that default size i I'll, I'll, i'll tell you we have a separate database model database as per the model databases new databases will be created okay so i'll tell you about the system okay. databases in the next class guys is it clear if it is clear i am happy if it is not clear i'm so happy why because again you have to listen one more time to be to get the things clear okay guys yeah, any sir, issues these are the user databases right these That's are the user database the you the the user the databases that you are creating or users are creating or user uh, databases okay guys so if it is clear that's fine okay so tomorrow there is no class saturday sunday there is no class okay uh, again you can connect on monday at 7 am okay so for the first 2 3 weeks there will be no classes on saturdays next fourth week on fourth week onwards why because slowly will go okay slowly will go so that's why i'm giving one day gap next third week or fourth week onwards we'll start classes on saturdays also fine any questions any doubts you can ask me please sir how many ways are for creating database sir huh? How many ways? One way is UI, second way is uh, command. These two ways we can create okay. the database. Sir, command create also. database means it's a command, sir. Yes, command. It's a command based creation. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, please. Trying to ask about services, sir. Hmm. Mm, tell me. Tell me. Will you please explain it properly in another session? Properly means what? What is meant what by properly? The... means Which last time i did not explain yeah. properly sir i mean uh, for uh... and again one more request you guys please if you have issue ask immediately stop me there itself okay i can i uh, that's why i am offering you guys any doubts any doubts any doubts you can stop me immediately no issues i can explain okay no, so sir, let I'm... me know what is the exact doubt you have in the services i'll explain so not exact but i am asking about uh, what failures we will get about uh, uh, different services in uh, uh, what what failures yes sir errors errors about different services and how to deal with it no 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 this time i don't explain see it's not uh, learning uh, no, no, error based no, no, learning i'm okay. going to explain it uh, further in see this is how it will be see in the services what errors you will get hardly you just tell me first of all in the services what errors you will get might be your service cannot start using because of your service account or wrong password okay so these things and who is that who is that please is it jayesh raghu sir raghu 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 okay fine raghu okay fine so it's not like error based and all okay so i can tell one or two errors but in the organization we have 50000 errors okay the concept is not we are not going to learn in the error based okay so earlier you asked me sir explain about service now you are asking me errors about the services so here one thing uh, ragu 
will yes. get lot of errors related to the services lot of errors will get mostly will get a uh, services don't start sometimes because of your service account issue okay so in that case if, if it is because of service account issue then you have to change the service account or you have to make sure that service account password is expired and all from where we can get this information again we can get this information from event viewer when you are trying to start the service if the service account password is expired the service won't be started okay that information will be logged inside your event viewer that's what we discussed about the event viewer in the last class itself we'll discuss where to check it so if any issue comes those are the corners you have to check it it's not like this error it will come we have to fix this one like this we this error if we if we get we have to fix like this not like error based it's a conceptual based okay if you have concept now in in our case now you have to know you you you, you will know where to check it so based on that you will start troubleshooting the errors if you have any specific error let me know how to troubleshoot how, how, how what is the error i'll tell you how to troubleshoot it but it's not like a, a services what errors will get means that's unlimited topic where your sql server training doesn't end okay okay but any specific okay. error you have let me know i'll i'll help you to explain and you have an idea right about services how many services we will get it what are the specific what are the shared yes sir that's all i know but what this uh, this uh, sql server ceip does what uh, full text used to do yeah full text you got an idea now full text are you still confusing full text is a service which helps to search the data full text search will call it as full text search okay to search the data to filter the data we are going to use this service cip from so 2017 kind of onwards sorry what kind of data it will filter what sir what kind of data it will filter means whatever data you are searching that kind of data it will filter okay in the database itself yes correct it's it's okay. kind of filtering it's kind of searching how you are searching based on your searching technology the data can be different right Right. Okay. This uh, this full text will help you in searching the data. This service will help you. From 2017 onwards, we got this uh, SQL CEIP service. Okay, this is an extra service. Uh, this is a specific service. So I'll let you know what the CEIP service will do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Any doubts? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'm also not aware about services. Which one? Which one? All the services. Mm hmm. Oh, because I'm first first lecture. Yes. 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 No issues. Uh, tell me any any doubts here see here we don't uh, consider all the services only these six services we have to look into it these are the sql server services there are lot of services you can see those services belongs to other processes okay not belongs to our sql server service so when we install sql server we'll get all these six services basically in these six four are specific remaining two are shared services but again jayesh it will take some time for you as this is first class for you those who joined today yesterday it will take some time in case of any issues first go through those videos in our batch 42 playlist in the youtube and then you will get to know these things and all okay jayesh is it clear as of now at least some some point you are yeah, able yeah. to understand in today's class yes yes okay okay done done the installation part also you have done Yeah, yeah, yeah. Installation is done. Once we install, then only we'll get SQL services, right? Installation is done. Yesterday and day before yesterday, installation. We discussed about the SQL server installation. Yeah. Okay. So just go through it, sir. The, the, those videos are already uploaded in our YouTube channel. Yesterday's class and day before yesterday's class, you can see the SQL server installations. Okay. Yeah. So, any, sir, any? after. So after insert the data into database also, we can move the files into other drives also, right, sir? Ah, uh, we can move it, but there is a different process for that. Guys, let me reopen the meeting link. You can ask your doubts. Okay, let me reopen the meeting links.